The holiness of God in the Old Testament was certainly beneficial to the Israelites. God shared his holiness with them, but only in the ways that he himself had prescribed. Now, the holiness of God was also dangerous when it was treated in a way not in conformity with how God wished his holiness to be treated. And the story of Uzzah is an unforgettable example of what happens to those who don't treat God as holy. So this is recorded at a couple different places. First Chronicles 13 is one of those. Uzzah, who was not a Levite, was helping to transport the ark, which was on a cart. That was not the way the ark was to be transported. It was to be transported with poles and to be carried by Levites. And so uh, a double infringement of how God said he wanted his ark to be treated. And when the oxen stumbled and Uzzah put out his hand to steady the ark, he touched that most holy object and as a result, he died on the spot. He was not to come into contact with that which was most holy. Now, I want you to take this dangerous holiness of the Old Testament and I want you to contrast it with the, the welcoming and beneficial holiness that we see so often in the New Testament. Because what happens in our case is that the Ark of the Covenant for us is Christ. He is the Word, has become flesh, tabernacled among us, and He welcomes us not only to approach Him, but to become one with Him. That's what happens in baptism. We are grafted into the most holy body of Jesus Christ. And as a result, we are not destroyed. We are those who receive his holiness, who become sanctified by his spirit as a gift of the Father.